Hi everybody. Happy New Year. Hey, I haven't done a video in a while. And with the holidays and everything, um, it's just been a little crazy in vacation. So first off, I wanted to wish everybody a Happy New Year and let you know that as soon as we get our website going, that Josh is helping me with, and I learn how to use my GoPro that my kids are going to help me with, I'm going to be consistently doing weekly episodes. Today, though, I am having the kids over for dinner, and I was going to surprise Joey and Lennon and make cupcakes, but I also wanted to do a Facebook Live. So, I am making some s'mores cupcakes. And you really start the cupcakes with a graham cracker topping, and I'm going to come over to this side. So, I'm testing the waters on, on new things so that you could see me and you could see everything that I'm doing. And to start off, I have... 24 cupcake liners, and I made a graham cracker crust with one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs, a quarter, a half a stick of butter, and a quarter of a cup of sugar. And all I did was fill up the cupcake tins, and to press them down, I'm just using the bottom of the glass. So I have a small glass here. I'm just pressing it down. I see green on there, but I'm too far away to read. So, hello anybody that's there. And then I've got little graham cracker crust that I'm gonna put in the oven and they're gonna um, go for five minutes. While I'm waiting for my oven to heat up, I'm gonna start on the cake mix. And we're gonna do a scratch chocolate cake. And then we're gonna make a scratch marshmallow icing. And I have my little kitchen torch, so we're going to do the marshmallows, we're going to toast them. And then when uh, the kids come over later, we're going to have a good dinner with some s'mores cupcakes. What I did not tell you was tomorrow is my Joey's birthday. And while we were on vacation in Florida, it was Lennon's birthday. So I thought I would surprise them. But again, I'm here, I'm on Facebook, so there's a surprise. They're not going to be surprised now. I'm trying to do everything so that you guys get a view. You can see what I'm doing. and Please feel free to give feedback because, again, I'm learning. And someday I want the Food Network to pick me up. They will. I promise. And then I'll have you all there. And, and like, you could be guests on my show. You could be guests here, too, because, you know, I like to feed people. So I'm going to start with two cups of flour. Listen, yes, I'm measuring. Baking requires measuring. So I am measuring to bake. So I've got two cups of flour. I'm gonna do two cups of sugar. I love these canisters. I need to promote the OXO canisters. Maybe they'll put me on their website and, and promote me. But they truly are the best. I got them at Bed Bath & Beyond and absolutely love them. So I need Two cups of flour, two cups of sugar, one cup of unsweetened cocoa. I'm just gonna put that. Homemade cake is really not hard to make. I've got one cup of unsweetened cocoa. Oh, I forgot my measuring spoons. Hi, everybody. Let me see who's there. Hi, Kath. I miss Florida. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Amber. I miss the sunshine. Look, I had a nice tan. Now it's going away already. It's fading. But someday I will be back soon. Not only to Florida, but to Savannah. All right, so I did my cocoa. Now I need two teaspoons of baking soda. Look, I am like the organization queen in the kitchen. I'm so excited. I have all these. I, I love my containers. So you'll probably hear me tell you a million times. Two teaspoons of baking soda. One teaspoon of baking powder. So we're actually going to make homemade marshmallow um, topping for this too. So we're going to be doing the egg whites and the cream of tartar. It's going to be really, really, really good. 
And then, um, let's see, we are going to add my salt, which I am using sea salt. It said you could use kosher salt, sea salt. I'm using sea salt. And I need one teaspoon of my sea salt. And that's it for my wood ingredients. So I'm going to move all of them out of the way so you guys can kind of see my short self. Yeah, I know. I'm only going to get shorter, just so you know. So when I get shorter, I'm just going to have to, like, you know, make, make arrangements. So we're going to get the flour and the sugar out of the way. There. Now you can probably see me better. Get my graham crackers out of the way because I don't need those. Remove the canola oil and the vanilla. And voila! Like you guys can see me now. Actually, I'm going to need the canola oil, but that's all right. All right, so now I've got all these ingredients, all my dry ingredients together. And I'm just going to mix them with, with a whisk real quick. Let's see, I'm going to bring it over here so you can. I'm going to try and. Hi, Tammy. Thank you, Amber. I love it. Here, let me see if you can see that a little bit. So Bob put his um, holder for his cell phone in the car on my window. <laughs> so it seems to be working kind of well. So here's my dry ingredients. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix up my wet ingredients. So we're going to go back over there. Okay, listen, I'll get better with time. And for my wet ingredients, so I need one cup of buttermilk. However, this girl doesn't have buttermilk. So, if you take milk and just a little bit of white vinegar and let it sit for a couple minutes, you, you have buttermilk. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my cup of milk. I am going to get my white vinegar and add a tablespoon of white vinegar. And that is going to make my buttermilk for the recipe. Actually, if I would have thought about that, I would have done this ahead and just told you about it. That way it was done. So I have to tell you, over Christmas, Nadine came in from Florida. So I got to spend Christmas with my grandbaby from Florida, which was really awesome. Nadine, uh, Nikki, came in from Savannah, which was doubly awesome because then I had both of them. And we had the kids over Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, so that made that made me very, very happy. The day after Christmas, we left and we went down to Savannah for a night. Spent the night at Nikki's and kicked around downtown Savannah for a little bit. And we'll be going back to spend our birthday with her in, in May. I can't wait. All right, back to this. We need two eggs. So I'm going to mix my two eggs. We need a half a cup of the vegetable oil that I just took over there. These away. Half a cup of vegetable oil. Let me check on my oven. Oh, my oven's just about up to temp for my graham cracker crust. I'm gonna be putting those in in a minute. And then I need a teaspoon of vanilla, which, yeah, I just, I just put my vanilla in. I don't really measure it. And then my buttermilk. And, oh, I need one cup of warm water. So let's go do the warm water while we let our buttermilk sit. Who else we have there? Hi, Tony. What was you just thinking? Amber should come to the party too. Absolutely. Because your mama likes a party. Downtown Savannah is a blast, as was Florida, so I didn't get to finish telling you. After Savannah, we went to Florida, and let me tell you, my heart is in the sea, it's at the ocean, it's at the Gulf, that's where I want to be, but I also want to be with my babies, all of them, and I'm never going to be with all of them at one time, because I've got two down there and four up here, but boy, tough decisions. The sun was shining every day. I'm putting in one cup of warm water. 
The sun was shining every day. It was in the 80s. Got a nice tan. I did have a Bloody Mary by the beach toots, but we'll have Bloody Marys in Savannah. And I got to connect with my cousin Janet and my sister-in-law, Kathy and Paul. They just take such good care of us. We have such a good time with them and the family. Kelly, Corey, Mike, Christine. Let me tell you, Christine and Mike took us on an adventure. So I'm gonna add in my buttermilk. And again, it's just a cup of whole milk and a tablespoon of vinegar. So Mike and Christine took us on a, an adventure to Fort DeSoto. And um, all my little Lennon wanted for her birthday was seashells. So Christine had her walking stick and it wasn't just a stick. It was a good walking stick that had a poker so she could protect me from sharks. And she did that. I stayed by her side. And we walked out into the to the water and had to go across the channel and, and the uh, current was going pretty good, but we made it out to the sandbar and we found so many sand dollars and really cool shells because of the adventure that Mike and Christine took us on. Had a blast. Um, would do it all over again. So Annette messages me and said, hey, shouldn't do that. Got to stay away from the sharks. But listen, as long as Christine had her stick, I was good. She protected me from the sharks. Now Mike and Bob, on the other hand, they stayed on shore. So we'll just leave it at that. All right, so I have my dry ingredients. I have all of my wet ingredients. And all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna mix them up. And I'm not gonna use my mixer for this. I'm just gonna mix it up with my whisker and call it a day. My oven is up to temp. Before I do that, I'm gonna put my little graham cracker crust in for the next five minutes. And through the power of technology, Alexa, set an alarm for five minutes. Five minutes. Alexa's got me covered. So I'm gonna come over here with my batter and I'm gonna turn it around so you guys can see. Hi, Mel, long time no talk to, hi, Dan. So here is the batter and I'm just gonna mix it up really, really good here. And I think this might be like a, potentially two segments we'll see because i also have to make the marshmallow so it might work out timing wise i hope so so i was thinking for the new year you know everybody i know i want to get healthier and um i'm going to start coming up with some good recipes that taste yummy but are good for you and not all the carbon sugar laden stuff and I know everybody, I do the pastas and the halushkis and all that stuff, but I'm going to come up with some stuff and I'm going to be doing some episodes. If you have any ideas or anything that you want to see me do, put it out here and I would be more than happy to do that because um, I want to really get this off the ground and going. I want to I wanna get the website going. Josh and I are going to connect tomorrow night. Um, Nikki, Joey, and Jeremy, and Josh are all helping administer the Sassy Jackie page. And I'm not going to lie, I need one of them to show me how to use the GoPro because I'm doing it on my cell phone. I have a really nice GoPro Hero 7 that goes live and I just really don't know how to use it. So, All right, this is looking good. Let's see, can you all see it? Uh, let's see. Hi, cuz! Are you coming over today, Nicole? For Christmas dinner, I ended up making a, um, a ribeye roast on the spit. So today, I'm going to do ham and mashed potatoes and corn. And again, I was surprising Joey and Lennon with cupcakes, but now they are going to know. And they're going to be so cute. Listen, so if they're s'mores cupcakes, and I got little chocolate bars, so after they're done and I toast the marshmallow on top, I'm going to put a little chocolate bar and a little graham cracker in it. You definitely, definitely will see the finished product. So, our cupcakes are about ready to come out of the oven, our, our, um, our little shells there. So I'm just gonna get a spoon so I can put the uh, batter in the... I'm actually gonna use, don't laugh at me, I'm gonna use a gravy scooper. Thanks, Mel! 
they're about ready to get done. So I'm gonna go, My the awesome team over at Wedgwood got me a gift certificate for my birthday. So I'm gonna go get my nails done pretty soon. Ha <laughs> ha, honey, say hi, they all see you. Hi. <laughs> Bob is gonna go outside. I told him that you were ingenious putting this on the window. Because when I go over to the stove, I'll be able to just turn it that way. See, I can work a cell phone. I can't work a GoPro. Bob does have a brain. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. He's not all looks. Uh, he's so much all looks that all the women want him. <laughs> hey, so funny story after I get my uh, cupcakes out of the oven. Those of you who know me and who go out with me, like my sisters, my sister Cheryl says, keep your head down, don't look, don't talk because everybody knows you. So, we're on our way to Florida and we're 30 miles outside, hi gorgeous. We're 30 miles outside of Tampa and it was probably 7.30, 8 o'clock at night, it was pitch black. I was driving 80 miles an hour down the highway, consistent with the traffic. Everybody's going about 80. And Bob's sitting in the passenger seat, he says, honey, this car, <laughs> yes, he is, Nikki. This car is, is trying to flag you down. And I'm like, oh no, something happened to my car. So I kind of slow down and I kind of back off. Bob rolls his window down and some guy yells, hi, Jackie, it's Brandon. So Brandon Cuban, if you happen to watch this, you made my trip, I laughed so hard. So Brandon used to work for Huntington and he lives in the Clearwater area now, which was still like another hour and a half away. But he's seen my Palatania. I do uh, my bicycle ride for Palatania with Huntington in, in the James Cancer Hospital. So I proudly display my arrow on my car. Well, Brandon knew I was going to Florida from Facebook and he knew I rode Palatania and he put two and two together and boom, what are the chances? Driving down a highway, 30 miles outside of Tampa, that you run into somebody you know oh, on the oh, highway. Oh. Uh, crusts are ready to come out of the oven, so I'm going to get the graham cracker crust out now. On another note, Brandon, you have become a Florida driver. <laughs> and Bob says Brandon definitely became a Florida driver. He's a nut. Which is crazy. Because Florida drivers tend to be a little crazy. All right, I'm going to put these here for a hot minute. They are hot. And I'm going to bring over, a, just so I'm up close and personal. Hi, Lisa. All right, so start with the first tray here. Bye, I'm out of the nut house. <laughs> Bob is leaving me. All right, so the graham cracker crusts are good. Now I'm just gonna put some chocolate cupcake batter in. Actually, let's see how this works out. We're gonna test it. It should be just fine. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll put like one and a half scoops. So we're gonna fill these up. I've never made these before, so it's something different. Like to talk. Somebody was trying, Amber or Jeremy was trying to drop in on me on Alexa. So if you heard me trying to decline it, I couldn't see you anymore. So as long as, yep, you're all still there, it looks like. Good deal. So yeah, I've never made these cupcakes before, so it should be interesting, but how bad could graham cracker, chocolate, and marshmallow be? I don't think it could be too bad. And I even got, I even got some uh, little special candles for Lennon and Joey. So I started to tell you she wanted seashells. And when Christine and Mike took us out on our adventure, she showed me the trick to finding sand dollars. She was just like, they were just under her nose. And she probably picked up, gosh, I don't even know how many. But then I started picking up a bunch too. So we brought home a whole lot of sand dollars from Fort DeSoto down in Florida. It was, it was pretty awesome. Bob and I have been there a few times, well, every year for probably 10 years. So now we um, turn the phone down, LOL. My cell phone toots. Nikki, am I turning my cell phone down? 
Nikki's, Nikki's giving me coaching here, but I don't know what, if she wants me to try and reach my cell phone and turn it down. Can't see what you're doing. Oops. Thanks guys. See, this is why I need you. I need you anyway. But, so we went to some local beaches this time, um, Upham Beach. My cousin Janet and Jim, they're down there. And we had such a good time with them. We went out to dinner with them. Went to uh, the VFW. I played darts and uh, had a blast there. Sang with some lady just because she was singing a grease song. So I just joined in and sang with her. I know that you guys can't imagine that, but yep, I did. I just sang right along with her and it was kind of fun. Her husband, boyfriend, whomever he was, gave me a pepper shaker to use as a microphone. <laughs> it, worked, it worked out quite well. But I can't tell you guys, oh, the sunshine every day, 80s every day. I was in my happy place and I'm ready to go back to my happy place. I wanna bring all my babies to my happy place. It looks like, oops, I made a mess. It looks like I might get more than 24 cupcakes here, but I'm gonna stop at 24 and I'll do another batch after a while because I wanna get these in the oven. Actually, while I'm filling this one up and making a mess, let me do that. Let me put one batch in the oven so that we can work around and you guys can see. These have to bake in a 350 oven. And I believe, let me look at the recipe and I'll, I'll share it on my page for you guys. I believe it's 12 to 15 minutes. Um, seven to 10 minutes, nope. Yep, it's 12 to 15. Alexa, set a timer for 12 minutes. So I'm gonna check them in. Starting now. I'm gonna check them in 12 minutes and see how, see how they look because I wanna get this moved along so you guys can see the finished product. All right, let's see. Too bad you guys can't come and taste it. Well, probably some of you could that are in town. But there are some that are not in town. Who do I got? Amber, Nikki. I'm seeing somebody else. Nikki, Heather. Hi, Heather. It's been a long time since we've talked. You'll have to give me a call and we'll have to catch up. So did anybody make any New Year's resolutions this year that that they're gonna they're gonna uh, really work on for 2019? I did. When I you know I ride Palatonia every year. In this past year, I was actually a virtual rider, and it was my first year in five years not riding, which kind of broke my heart. So I'm definitely riding again this year. And. Um, when I was going to the gym every day, well, Monday through Friday every day, I felt so much better and so much stronger. So I haven't put it on Facebook because I know it takes 21 days to make a habit. And we got back from Florida and the next day I was at the gym at 5.30 in the morning. And then I was there on Friday and I plan on being there tomorrow. So my resolution is to be consistent going to the gym for my health because I feel so much better. Crushing my 25 mile Palatania ride because that was amazing. And also doing my show once a week consistently, but looking for some healthy recipes, things that I can put together that, that taste good, that aren't like, oh my gosh, you know, I, I'm eating healthy and eating healthy doesn't taste good. I'm gonna work on coming up with some um, some good healthy recipes that you'll say, oh my gosh, you know what? I wanna make that again and again. So that's my goal for this year. And, uh, and I, you know what? I'm gonna make it happen because I can, and I know I can. It's also not to make a mess with these cupcakes, but I'm kinda of blowing that. Tell you what, the batter looks really, really good. I'm not much of a sweet person. I will have one though, cause I'll have to try it, but that's about it. I'll eat one. So by the power of Alexa, I'm going to be done here in a second. I can actually turn on two timers. Oh, she's a rock star. She doesn't know it. I don't tell her she's a rock star when she doesn't know something. But 
Yeah, she works. We called the kids this morning. I called, talked to Roman. He was all happy. Tried to call and talk to Jared and Amber and the girls. They must have been sleeping. And I tried to call Josh. He must have been at church. But, and I didn't try and call Nikki. I was going to call her before I did this, but I knew she'd pop on. She's my, uh, she's my cheerleader here. All right, second batch ready to go in the oven, but not before I clean this bad boy up. My kitchen is so user-friendly. I absolutely love it. But you know, if I ever moved away, I'd have to, I'd find another beautiful kitchen. And I would do a show from somewhere else. Or someday I'll be a snowbird. And I'll do shows from Florida in the winter and from here in the summer because we really do have a beautiful house and beautiful property. And, but we have beautiful babies here. And I have beautiful babies down there. It's tough. I'm not going to lie. It's very tough. All right. So this one's going to go in the oven now. And have Alexa set another timer. Alexa, set a second timer for 12 minutes. Second timer. 12 minutes. Starting now. And in case you didn't know, because I didn't know, you could actually set um, a timer and name it. Because Nikki taught me that while I was while she was here in town. All right. So, so here's the other haha -ha moment. I have never made this recipe before, so I'm actually doing it with you guys live, without a clue how it's going to turn out. <laughs> so wish me luck. Honestly, it'll be fine. So the second part of the recipe, we need a double boiler. And I used to have one. Let's see if the other part of my pan is here. Hmm, no. So we're just gonna use this. We're gonna make our own because it doesn't really have to. All right, so here's what I need to do next. They're pink, toots. Yeah, snowbirds. Snowbirds, uh, Amber would work too. But you know, I'm way too young to retire and become a snowbird. So unless I hit the lottery, that's not happening anytime soon. And guys, remember, once this recipe is all done, I will be posting it on my web page so that, or my Facebook page. So if you guys want to make it, we will be able to do that. All right, so we're going to make marshmallow now. And we are going to do eight egg yolks. Or, I'm sorry, eight egg whites. Eight egg whites. To that, we're going to add two cups of sugar, a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar, and two teaspoons of vanilla. And we're going to make our marshmallow. That's where my, my nice kitchen aid's going to get come in. <laughs> I love you guys. You're rock stars. Is that better? Amber, is that better? All right, so I just need the egg whites. No shells, no yolks. We'll do that, and we're just going to, going to, and I have no use for these yolks, so I just, so that egg right there, like I said, live, it's okay, it's all good. Egg down. And I'm actually going to get a different bowl because I don't want any egg yolk in there um, miss, messing up our marshmallow. So we're going to do it right here. And right here. What was I thinking? I'm usually prepared. All right, we need eight eggs. I need to be careful because I think I have nine. No, no, no. Okay, shoo. We save that just in the nick of time. I do not have an egg separator. I've never had an egg separator. Okay. Two. Three. these three 
tree in here now, just in case. And I'll get that little tiny streak out. Or, here, we'll do it the old fashioned way. Five. Good thing I have one leg left. Six, seven, eight. I cannot mess up another one or I'm toasty roasty. Gee, maybe when I'm doing a lot of eggs, I do need to get an egg separator. It actually is pretty easy. Gross, but easy. All right, last one. All right, there are our eight eggs. Wash my hands. Like I said, my kitchen, everything is so convenient. It just makes my life easy. All right, so we've got eight eggs. I said we need two cups of sugar. I'm going to put some warm water in here because we're actually going to um, put the egg whites over the water. Not cook them, but just blend them. So I need two cups of sugar. and two cups of sugar. And this, we need to pour some water out. All right, I'm gonna turn you around in just a minute. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see what's going on on the stove. You'll have to help me here. Um, I'm gonna turn this on. And then I'm gonna put this over here. And we just want to get this blended. Yeah, we just want to get this blended up so it mixes really, really nice. And it's nice and smooth. So I know I really can't move you over here to see it. But I will show you before I put it in the mixer what it looks like. Hi everybody. I smell cupcakes. If I had smell a vision, you'd smell them too. They smell good. I have never made homemade marshmallow. So this is a first. Again, I'm being brave and I'm doing it with you guys, so I only ruined two eggs. It's okay. It's all good. So this just needs to be smooth, which it's getting there already. Alexa timer off. All right, I'm gonna shut this off because my first batch of cupcakes is coming out of the oven. So we're gonna put you back over here. Grab a pot holder and see how they're looking. They need another few minutes. Alexa, set a timer for three minutes. Second timer, three minutes. So I'm gonna say 15 minutes is what they're needing. Let's see, can you guys see this? I'm gonna show you what this looks like. See, it's nice and smooth. I'm gonna let it cook a little bit more, but I didn't wanna leave it on the flame without the, um, with me, uh, taking cupcakes out of the oven. So I think I can get in three more minutes because I want it to be smoother than that. 
it just says till it's all blended in so and after that we're going to add our crema tartar and our vanilla let's see marshmallow whisk constantly until sugar is dissolved and the egg whites are warm and smooth to the touch three to five minutes is what we got to do this for so we probably have another couple of minutes well if joey doesn't watch this today and lennon doesn't watch facebook live so i know she doesn't unless they show her then they'll be surprised today to have some birthday cupcakes and uh sing happy birthday to both of them because they deserve their it was their birthdays i had an amazing birthday in florida most of you know it's new year's eve because i don't make it a secret and um had just an amazing time all i wanted to do for my birthday was go to the beach which i did and bob took me to breakfast and then as we were at breakfast janet was coming to the beach with us my cousin she walked into the restaurant and treated us to breakfast she grabbed my bill and so for my birthday i had an amazing time i got breakfast for my cousin i spent the day at Upham beach then went home and kathy and paul got a cake and all the kids were there and got me cards and presents and i got spoiled kaylee and carson made me a big card made lots of pictures on it it was it was pretty awesome it's one of those special moment cards you don't you don't get rid of you don't give away you don't do anything because it came from the heart the heart of babes so i had a really awesome birthday but for the first time probably well maybe not the first time but one of the first times in my whole life i did not stay up until midnight i did not stay up until midnight it was the craziest thing all right so now i am going to take our mix i'm going to put it in my mixing bowl because that's the next step in the process is we're going to mix this and we are going to make marshmallow and i think we might actually get one um one batch done alexa timer off Two minutes. Time. I just keep watching the timer because I'm not real confident. They're, they're still not ready. So I'm going to add, all right, to my egg whites and my sugar, I am going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar, which this is what's going to stiffen it up and make it kind of like meringue and marshmallow y. And then I'm going to add in two teaspoons of vanilla. So. Alexa, timer off. Alexa, set second timer for five minutes. She's my hero. I do. All right. So there's a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Bob's outside doing um, blowing leaves. And then we need two teaspoons of vanilla. Since I'm making marshmallow, I'm actually going to measure this this time. One teaspoon and two teaspoons. So, what I'm not going to be able to show you guys is what this looks like on the mixer, I don't think. So, if I take you down, let's see if I can, what I can do here. Testing waters, guys, so bear with me. Um, we're going to use the paddle, and I'm just going to turn it. Oops, I guess it would help if I lift my mixer. And we're going to let it go for a couple of minutes. And then once it goes for a couple of minutes, I'll show you what it looks like. Because then we need to turn it up and let it go a couple minutes more. Your Alexa did too. I turned it on. <laughs> Hi, Julie. I miss you. All right, well, while that's doing that, it says I have to let that go a couple minutes. I'm gonna go check my other batch of cupcakes, my first batch. Make room for them right here so you guys can see them. Clean up some of this mess. 
Yeah, I'll wash it all good. Alexa, timer off. timer for two more minutes. Hmm. They're not cooking as quickly as I thought they would, but that's okay. They're going to be perfect when they're done. Hi, Julie. All right, let's see. Now I'm going to turn it up some. So guys, I'm going to tell you again, I've never, I've never ever made marshmallows. So this has to mix for about 10 minutes. Hopefully, Hopefully it comes out. If not, I'll be um, coming up with another icing for them. I think it will, but again, I'm trying it with you guys, so I'm brave enough to do a first and not test the water. But then what I'm going to do after that is I will, hi Amber, I will uh, put the marshmallow fluff on top. I'll get my little torch. I'll do some graham cracker and some chocolate. And we will have a s'mores cupcake. It says 10 minutes, so fingers crossed for me, guys. If not, I'm gonna. Oh, it's puffing up. I just never made it before. So, um, Amber, I had to shut you off on Alexa because I was talking on Facebook Live. I think these cupcakes should be done in the oven. Let me give one of them a good check. All right, we're gonna take the first batch out. cupcakes is out of the oven. And so there's the cupcakes. Our second batch has a little bit of time to go. They're almost all the same size using that scoop. How they look guys. I think we're starting to fluff up over here too, so I'll lose my panic mode. I've got my cooling racks all ready for my hot dog, my hot dogs, oh my goodness. <laughs> for my cupcakes. So listen, so I'm gonna say this, every time I do a video, um, I am on a mission. And my mission is for the Food Network to pick me up by summertime. So I have my own Food Network show. I know I said it at the beginning, but I'm gonna keep throwing it out to the universe because if I keep throwing it out, it's gonna happen. So my goal is to get on the Food Network and have my own show, aside from this show. And I know that we talked before about the wedding suit cook off. I haven't heard a lot about it lately. So I have to find out details, but that's coming up on January 19th at Mount Carmel and Logo. And I have a spot there, so I will be doing the uh, wedding soup cook off over at Mount Carmel. All right, I'm going to take these over. I'm going to get them out and put them on the rack while we're chatting. Hey, our marshmallows looking marshmallowy. So is there anything that you guys want to see me cook or make or something that I can um, do that would make it fun and easy? Again, just starting out January 6th, looking for some suggestions. <coughs> Seeing what you guys would be interested in. I know I'm interested in getting my kids involved so I know how to use my technology that I don't know how to use. 
but my kids are helping anyway, all of them. I probably could ask Nadine and she'd show me how to use the GoPro too. And Angelo. Angelo showed me on my other GoPro. Something low carb, high fat. I can look for that because I'm definitely going to be doing some low carb stuff. Um, stuff for like diabetics and uh, such. So I'll work on that amber. And something yummy. Something with lots of flavor. Something with garlic. Um, you're not going to believe this, but that um, actually smells like marshmallow. I'm turning it on low. Now I'm letting it whip a little bit more. So let's see. How long do I have to whip it? Seven to ten minutes. So um, we probably have five more minutes left. Well, the ratchet cupcakes is looking good. We still have a few minutes. Take these out. I'm hoping that you guys can see the whole the whole process here. So I'm hoping I, I may actually put one in the refrigerator after my icing is done to cool off so that you guys can see the finished product. Let's see. I'm still here guys, I'm just taking these cupcakes out of the pan. I'll be right back with you. If I were you, depending on how your oven bakes, I'd probably do 15 to 18 minutes and not 12 to 15. I think 15 to 18 minutes is probably going to be the good time. But Alexa, timer off. I'm actually going to put one in the refrigerator right now because I want you guys to see it all done. And I'm going to get my torch. I've got my kitchen torch. Handy dandy. Hopefully I have a lighter. Ooh, and I have a beastie lighter. Look at this lighter. I don't know. Ooh, how cool is that? That's beastie. Oh. So I'm going to pull a cupcake. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put it together so you guys can see it. And we'll wrap it up. Let's see how this is looking. Guys. All right, I got to take the phone down. You guys need to see this. So there's what it looks like right now. I'm gonna get a spoon or a knife. Let's check the consistency here. Cool. Hmm. It looks good. So we're gonna let it go a little bit more. Let it whip up. Stove works as a lighter, I know. Ooh. That is amazing. So, okay, I wasn't sure how that would turn out. Hi, Sue, I missed you. I wasn't sure how that would turn out. My, oh my, oh my. Up here, guys. So you got my hand for a minute. You know I'm a little bit short. I probably should have got my step stool. Ah, are you there? Perfect. All right, so. I'm excited. The less the time on off. I'm going to change this to the freezer. Because I really want you guys to see this. I'm going to take the next batch of cupcakes out because I know they're ready. They're perfect. Second batch of cupcakes out. And I probably still have enough for another 12 cupcakes. Hi, Lenny. Sue's 
Katsu, I am making s'mores cupcakes. They have a graham cracker crust on the bottom, homemade um, from scratch chocolate cake mix, and I'm doing homemade marshmallow fluff right now. So I'm going to put one together so you guys can see. You can stop over, guys. You know where I live. All right, let's look at this again. Oh, man, guys. I'm not going to lie. I got happy feet. Mm. This looks just like marshmallow fluff. Oh. Look at that. And it's not supposed to be really um, firm because when it goes on the cuppy cake, oh, watch, I'm gonna do it. I froze it for a couple minutes. Even if the heat gets it after you guys see it, I want you to see what I'm gonna do. So. I'm so excited that you spent my my Sunday afternoon afternoon with me. So check this out. Oh, let me tell you, this icing is amazing. I'm so excited. So you know what I think I should do? I'm gonna do that, and then oh, let's see. I gotta turn it down. I know. Well, if I turn it down, hold on. Short people problems, they're very real. Let's see, can you see it? Yep, you should be able to see it. Can you guys see it? Give me a thumbs up or something so I know. Perfect, all right, so now I'm gonna light my beastie torch. Oh gosh, I haven't lit this in a while. Oh, we'll do that and I think I think I do that and I do that. <laughs> how did I light this later? All right, I don't know how to light the later now. I lit it once. All right. Man, I'm getting a regular lighter. Forget that thing. I lit it once. Oh, hey, Toots, I know what I'll do. I use my stove. Ah! Look, she's so smart. And then I'm just going to toast the marshmallow. Paper on fire. I'm going to toast the marshmallow. Look, just like a toasted marshmallow. And then I am going to off my fire put a little piece of chocolate and I am going to make some more graham cracker crumbs and I'm going to sprinkle a few graham cracker crumbs on it and then I am going to I'm so excited guys I'm going to get a graham cracker and I'm gonna stick a graham cracker in it. Voila! How's it look? I'm so excited. I'm making s'mores cupcakes and they came out wonderful. So what do you guys think? Just laughing my behind off. <laughs> That's okay. Do they look good? What do you think, Sue? Ah. Oh. You think that Joey and Lennon will be happy? You guys got to see the finished product. That's so exciting. And hey, Nikki, the torch for the stove worked. <laughs> I didn't need that beastie lighter. I just have to figure out how to do it. All right, so listen guys, again, um, Happy New Year. I'm looking forward to 2019 and I hope you guys all have a really, really nice New Year's and you get everything you want, wish for, dream of, and then some because you all deserve it. I am going to work on some things. Message me. I am me. Um, whatever you want to do, give me some ideas of things that I can make. Again, I want to 
try and do some healthier, uh, with low carb, low fat, or low carb, high fat, um, find some good things to make and see what we can do here. So I look forward to the messages. I'm going to have Nikki post this on the Sassy Jackie page. We're really going to get that going as well. I love you too, sweet pea. We're going to get that Sassy Jackie going um, once a week. Again, I'm trying to figure out what day works best. I kind of like Sundays. You know, Sunday seems to be a good day because I typically don't have anything going on in the mornings. Um, but whatever day I do it, it will be a consistent day that you can all see. And then if you don't get the opportunity to watch live, then you can watch it on the Sassy Jackie page and on mine. So I love you guys. Um, can't wait to see you all again. Can't wait for another episode. And I will let you know the outcome of the cupcakes and see how they all like them. All right, guys. See ya. Mwah. Sassy Jackie over and out.